Hiya, welcome to another video. Um, I really wanted to do a video of the best jazz reissues of 2021. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to start off with something that has really caught my eye in the last couple of days. And I've been playing it non-stop today. And that's Jerry Mulligan's uh, Nightlight. This is a fantastic album. It is beautiful. Um, it's audiophile, cut by Kevin Gray, pressed at Palace. Um, it's just come out in the last couple of weeks, I think. Um, but it is very, very lovely, late night, accessible, um, enjoyable jazz. Really, really nice. Really rec recommend this if you haven't got this as part of your collection. I'd really recommend getting it. Um, it is a beautiful, um, beautiful copy, beautiful pressing, sounds great, and um, just very easy going, gorgeous, late night jazz. Um, I should say that these are in no particular order. So my next one is this, which is Freddie Hubbard's um, Ready for Freddie, Blue Note, part of the 80s series. Um, this one, um, it sounds beautiful, but there's a nasty skip halfway through side A, so I'm not particularly very happy. The quality issues of these new classic blue notes, I have to say, um, they're not, they're not brilliant. Um, but the sounding is beautiful, the, the depth and sound stage and instrumentation detail is, is, is stunning. I would recommend this, but obviously um, I think um, make sure you get a clean a clean copy. Um, that's at number number nine. Now number eight is um, something that came across I, I uh, thank you to Michael Ludwig of um, 45 RPM put me onto this one. Um, and that's uh, Hiroshi Suzuki's cat. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I'm just laughing because um, it's so good. It's such a love. Everyone needs to have this. It really is fantastic. It is um, the earworms in it. The quality of the music is just stunning. It's stunning jazz. Um, and um, it's got the OB on the back there. And... Uh, it's half speed mastering, which I think comes into a little bit of criticism. People sometimes think that it's um, not as good quality, half speed mastering. Um, but this is, this is lovely. First thing you put it on and it's, um, it just fills you with joy. This is a really good, this is a really, really good record. I have nothing more to say other than it's really good. And that's my number uh, seven, number eight, sorry, eight. Uh, number seven is an impulse label, which um, has been on the table, my turntable, quite a lot. And it's uh, Sonny Rollins on impulse. And um, I really like this. This is just a really laid back um, uh, jazz album. And it's like, a, I, I, I think of a, I always think of a, like a, a a busy bee, like a bumblebee, just buzzing around when when Sonny comes in on, on the sax there. And it's a really laid back, um, gorgeous, gorgeous sounding album. I really, really recommend this uh, if you haven't had it. It's part of the Impulse 60 series, Analog Productions, and it sounds gorgeous. So if you haven't got this, I really recommend you getting, having a listen to this. Um, so that's Sonny Rollins. Uh, okay, next up. Now, this year I've been introduced to um, a very small audiophile record label based in France. Um, many of you will recognize Sam Records and the fantastic work that Fred does. Um, it's a one man uh, operation, as far as I understand. 
and uh, I've been absolutely delighted to buy direct from Sam Records and um, uh, managed to get this little beauty. This is the Nathan Davis. Nathan Davis, um, the ORTF recordings 1966 to 1967 with George um, Arvanitas. Um, and it's a um, beautiful record. If, you, if you're starting out on a jazz collection, have a look at Sam Records, have a look at um, some of the things they've got. They haven't got an awful lot at the moment, they've sold a lot, sold out. But if you can get your hands on this, um, it is absolutely stunning. Beautiful gatefold audio file record. Beautiful photographs of Nathan Davis when he went to France and recorded a really beautiful jazz album, which I'm delighted that that Sam Records has done. Um, it's a really beautiful thing to have, and I'm I'm very very happy. The music is is, is stunning. The re the album the the vinyl is gorgeous. So I recommend you checking this out if you can. So that's number six, I think, six. And number six, number five. Number five is um, something I've received in the last couple of weeks. It seems that all the good, some of the good jazz audio file records that have come out have been coming out in the last um, last few weeks. But um, this is, <laughs> This is <laughs> this is fantastic, and that's got to be uh, Charles Mingus, the Black Saint, and Sinner Lady, Lady. Um, again on Impulse, part of the Impulse sixty, and again, pff, Chad's done a fantastic job with this. It is beautiful. It is just incredible. It's it's described on the back. I think this is probably Charles Mingus saying it's ethnic folk dance music, and it does feel like a play. Um, the emotion that, that is generated, the, it develops a real energy from start to finish, the rhythm. And um, I don't think there's any other jazz artist or jazz record that actually generates so much energy and then changes it from being really um, immediate and full of suspense and then um, goes into really sort of quiet and delicate and it's 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 a play. I mean, I think a lot of Mingus stuff is really a play. It's it's um it has a beginning, middle, and end. Um, so if you haven't got that, you have to get that. And along with that is its sister or brother reissue, Mingus, 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 or Mingus times five. Uh, again, stunning. Probably this is probably my favourite actually. I know lots of people think that the um, Sinner Lady um, reissue is, is, is the better of the two, but I, I really like this. Um, again, it's just a story. It's it got a beginning, it builds. The middle's got a lot of drama and character. Um, and then at the end, it's just, it's just lovely. So beautiful vinyl. If you can afford it and you can get it, um, get it while you can. That's my recommendation you won't be sorry it's fantastic uh, okay where are we now uh, eight number eight I think and this is um this came out back in the late spring I think and it's a tone poet and it's Dexter Gordon's one the flight up and um, <laughs> uh, it's, this is gorgeous, uh, um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jazz. If you can get this, I recommend it. It's stunning, beautiful session photography. It's a beautiful record. And the first side is a track called Tanya, which just goes on and on and on. And it builds and builds and builds and builds. And it's fantastic. It's a really, really, really gorgeous record. Um, and uh, it's got Donald Byrd on it, Kenny Drew, Niels Henning Orsted, and Art Taylor. Uh, anything with Donald Byrd in it. 
and um, Dexter Gordon's any good, so I would thoroughly recommend you ch checking this out. Um, number nine, number nine. Um, this blew me away when I got this. Um, I managed to have a listen of um, the uh, this on, on on streaming, but when I bought it on vinyl, it's beautiful audio file quality. And that's the Trio sixty four. Bill Evans. Um, I'm not so keen on the Trio 65. I've listened to that, um, streamed that, but this, this is stunning, and this is very festive as it's got um, Santa Claus is coming to town. And what I like about this is um, the bassist Gary Peacock, who just takes it away, does some lovely solo work, just wanders away um, through. Uh, the first couple of tracks, Little Lulu, Sleeping Bee, and then and then Bill Evans comes back in there, and it's it just swings really well, and it's gorgeous artwork. You can see the artwork on that. Um, I would recommend get, getting this if if you like Bill Evans. <clears throat> if you haven't listened to Bill Evans, give this a go. This is gorgeous, really lovely, um, and. Uh, Paul, Paul Motian, Paul Motian, Paul Motian, Mamutian on the drums. Fantastic. It's really, really good. Okay, so number 10. And what have I chosen for number 10? No particular order, but um, I picked this up back in the summer, I think. It's the McCoy Tyner expansions. And this is good. This is good. The, the energy this, is, this generates. Uh, the emotion of, of urgency is is just second to none. Um, he really was a clever devil, McCoy Tyner. And um, again, part of the Tone Poet Blue Note series. Beautiful vinyl, clean, so clean. Just needed a, a quick blow, didn't need a, um, a full wash on the project. It was just, just stunning. Um, and this is just gorgeous from front to back. It... It is just a, a really beautiful jazz album <clears throat> that um, I thoroughly recommend. Um, there is one more actually. That's my that's my ten, but I wanted to add one more. So it's ten plus one. That's kind of cheating, really. Um, but I've got this one, which is um, Curtis Amy Katanga, <laughs> and I'm laughing only because the joy it brings when I think of when I put this on. Uh, it's it's just got this incredible rhythm that builds up in that first track, and um, who have we got? We've got Curtis Amy Dupree Bolton, and um, it's it's stunning. It really is. It is a beautiful beautiful tone poet. This one, um, lots of color, lots of texture, brilliant sound stage, recorded beautifully, and it just gets you gets that toe tapping. It's really got a lovely, um, a lovely melody. Well, that's, mel melody's not the right word, but it's it's got a great, um, a great um, flavour to it, and it's very very accessible if you're not into jazz. I'd give this a go. You might be quietly surprised, um, but yeah, beautiful on Pacific Jazz Records. But well done, brilliant. Well done for this analogue ad productions. So um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I don't have many subscribers, but um, if you like it, then give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments. Um, but have a really, really good Christmas, everyone. And we look forward to spinning some more vinyl in 2022. Let's just hope that next year brings us a bit more joy than this year. Um, but I'm sure it will. There's some great labels coming out some great reissues coming out next year and um, I look forward to seeing you all next year take care bye